John Doe, a very interesting Roblox character indeed, being the second player to ever exist on Roblox, the first being Roblox itself, and one of the only players to have a space in between their name, many players have struggled to figure out who John Doe actually was. Was he just a sort of testing account, or was he something more? People have been investigating John Doe for years, but 2017 is when people began to notice some really creepy things going on with his account. At the time, the last time he was online was March 18th, 2016. Seems normal until you consider some other things that were hidden in the account. Please note that nowadays, most of the stuff can't be seen anymore, but there are plenty of YouTube videos documenting these findings. If you looked at John Doe's player badges, most of them would seem normal, but one in particular looked very peculiar. The badge was called Prove It, made by Prove It in a place called Prove It. The description of this badge contained nothing but three letters. 3 18 17. March 18th, 2017. The game with this badge still exists today and can be played. John Doe was friends with a lot of mysterious people, such as Cryptid Data and, most importantly, the community. The community was an infamous Robloxian who claimed to be a hacker and threatened to destroy Roblox. On top of being friends with John Doe, he was also friends with Jane Doe, the third player to resist on Roblox, Hi, one of the very few Robloxians to have two characters in their name, and 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, one of Roblox's oldest and most infamous hackers. The community also had a group called The Community, which seemed to be sort of a group for hackers. Many of these hackers warned people to avoid March 18th, 2017. And probably most creepy of all, if you went to John Doe's profile, download his profile picture containing his face, and open that file in Notepad, you'll see a bunch of random code. However, in that code, if you looked carefully, you would see a link in reverse included in the code. Upon copying and pasting the link, you would see a raw paste data saying, Beware the 18th. With all this evidence, a large chunk of the Roblox community came to the conclusion that, on March 18th, 2017, John Doe would come back to Roblox. What exactly he would do was unknown, but most people said he would hack anyone who had the bravery, ignorance, or just pure curiosity to play Roblox on that day, or possibly d destroy Roblox entirely. Many people began to warn others to not play Roblox on this day, or John Doe would hack you. Others began to brag about how they were going to play Roblox all day on March 18th. As for myself, I was never particularly scared of John Doe. I knew that he was just a testing account that we wouldn't do anything horrible to Roblox. It was the community group that I was a little on edge with. It seemed like common sense that many hackers would be around on March 18th. I played regardless as I didn't think anything would actually happen to my account. As March 18th rolled closer, more and more controversy began to circle around John Doe. The topic got so popular that on the night of March 17th, the game Prove It was now the first game that showed up on the popular page on the Roblox website, with thousands upon thousands of people playing it, waiting for something to happen. About 30 minutes before midnight, I was playing Assassin with my friends, and we decided, on midnight, to visit the game like everyone else was. The place seemed completely normal, though a little shady because of the purple fog. It contained a couple of buildings with Roblox HQ at the end of the map. The only scary part, however, was on the top of Roblox HQ, there was a John Doe model with the text soon on it. On the game, there was a bunch of spam in the chats talking about how John Doe was coming back. Also, a lot of people thought I was a hacker because of the name No Data, which I guess is pretty normal. We all sat around the game waiting for something to happen. But at the end of the day, after all the controversy, the groups, the spam, and the endless YouTube clickbait, on March 18th, 2017, nothing happened. John Doe did not come back. Roblox has since confirmed that John Doe and Jane Doe are nothing but test accounts and not hackers. This was confirmed in a blog post. It turns out that the friends and badges that John Doe had arose from different exploits. For example, there was a recent exploit in 2015 that allowed players to friend anybody they wanted without another player's consent. It was used in a number of ways. Some people friended game developers to get admin in popular games. Roblox has also deleted a lot of false evidence pointing to John Doe being a hacker. He now has zero friends, and while the Prove It badge is still owned by him, the badge's content is deleted. Roblox has attempted to cover up the badge by giving John Doe a bunch of new badges. When put together, the badges make the sentence, Roblox is the best platform ever. John Doe also has a completely new look, looking more or less like a guest nowadays. The mystery of John Doe has slowly faded away, but many players still remember March 18th as the infamous John Doe Day. Happy John Doe Day, everybody. Don't forget to like, 
comment, subscribe, all those other things that YouTube people do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles!